Hello and welcome to tutorial 149 and in this tutorial we'll be drawing arrows on a chart and this is something that uh, I did before back in tutorial 89 and uh, in that tutorial we just used text new to draw the arrows in fact if you've seen that tutorial what I did is using the standard windows character map I found a font that I wanted to use in this case wingdings and found a an arrow that looked uh, suitable uh, for example this one and this one then I selected those or rather I copied those and then if I go to trade station and uh, I've already got them copied here but if I just do a control um, V you'll see that we uh, we've been able to translate those symbols into the equivalent letter so what I did I uh, drew these on to the chart and then uh, they appeared like little E's etc but then what I did I right clicked the arrow clicked no and then selected a font and a size and that works pretty well but it does have a few problems for, for instance if we change the default font on another chart then it changes this chart as well and uh, another thing is if for example we wanted to add a little bit of additional text on the chart for example hello and uh, verify that and then go back to the chart you'll see that that has been drawn but it's been drawn in the same font the same wingdings font as these arrows so that's not so good so what I'm going to do in this tutorial is using drawing objects to create the arrow and uh, created a new little program here 149 we're going to be using uh, the drawing and drawing objects namespaces which are included in the program and then we're going to be using a text label which I've just called cross text and what we're going to do just to make it easier to see I've calculated two uh, exponential moving averages a fast one a slow one and we're plotting those on the chart but what we're going to do is when those exponential moving averages cross then we're going to draw uh, arrows and uh, the way we do that using this standard sort of text is we do the uh, standard sort of code we do text label dot create and then as an input that has a uh, the position which I'm specifying using bn point uh, dot create so we're doing that at the current bar and uh, as I've mentioned in other tutorials to, to do the current bar this thing counts slightly differently from other things in TradeStation. You need to add the max bars back and then subtract one. And then we're going to be putting it in the low position. And then similarly, as in the original program, we're going to be adding some text there. Then we're going to be styling it a bit. We're going to style it uh, vertically and horizontally. And uh, you'll see I've used this syntax here, vertical style dot bottom and ver horizontal style dot center. If you look a little bit lower down, you'll see that we can use the, um, the numbers that um, represent the same values. I'm changing the color and then I'm setting the font of this text label using font.create and then uh, the one I'm using is Wingdings and I'm setting the size and then I'm adding that to the chart and I'm doing something very similar when the slow average crosses the fast average only this time we're using a different color and also we've uh, changed the vertical styling so adding those to the chart you can see that that looks pretty similar to the previous chart that we created in tutorial 89 but what if I wanted to add some additional text in fact what I'm going to do is add some more code here and what this does it adds a text string that simply says pivot underneath every pivot in the price so first of all we need to find a pivot we're just using the standard pivot function there looking for a pivot that has uh, left strength of three right strength right strength of three and uh, that returns a value if that value is equal to one in other words value three equals one then we're going to create a new label and very similar to the syntax above we're slightly altering where we're going to put this uh, this label so it coincides with the, uh, the pivot and uh, we put in the font just standard pivot we're styling it 
we're setting the color white, but notice here, what we're doing is creating using another font, in this case, curry and new. And then we're adding it to the chart. And then just to, uh, just to confirm that, we're plotting another plot, which plots where there is a pivot. And uh, if we now verify that and go back to the chart, you'll see that we've got pivots underneath the pivots. And you'll notice that we can have this font here, um, curry and new, and also the wingding. So what I'm going to do here is just style the, uh, the plot for we want it to be a point and like so we can see that those occur on the same bar okay well i hope you find that useful uh, if you're not on the markplex emailed list then please go to markplex.com and join it please uh, also subscribe to this channel and if this video has been useful please like it thank you very much